it better to paint a wall using a sprayer or a roller? Welcome to Flipping Gorgeous. My name is Lena Taylor. I'm a mom of three, a lifestyle entrepreneur, and a realtor turned renovator. Thank you for being here and consider subscribing. We are in week four of a major bathroom renovation. And now that the crew has all of the drywall installed, I am taking on the next portion, which is painting this entire space. So I am using the Wagner sprayer and I'm using the big, the big boy on this project. And this paint does require a good amount of thinning down. And I like to just start a little slow, but I kind of found that about almost a cup of water was how much I was needing to thin this down by. I'm a stay at home mom, I'm not an expert. I'll just mix it up really good. This is just going to help the paint get through the sprayer. Um, I like to test it to make sure it's not splotchy when I first put the sprayer on. We'll be using an aerator for this project. So once I get it on, I won't be really able to talk to you guys, but my approach for this bathroom is to start at the top horizontally and then at the bottom like almost making a perimeter and then coming back as far as I can reach because I'm not that tall and these are 11 foot ceilings. This is my first time using a sprayer on an interior wall and I will say that the pro immediately off the bat is how quickly I can move along with the sprayer. I was working in about one to two feet areas and that was pretty quick. I just wanted to make sure I had good even coverage. I would say that the biggest pro also is this felt very easy on my body. I wasn't, you know, my arm got a little tired, my hand got a little tired, but I wasn't achy and sore. The biggest con would be the amount of overspray because this is a brand new room. I didn't have to worry about taping off the floors or the trim, but you would certainly have to do that if you were doing this in a finished room. That was one hour. One hour down and I got the whole bathroom side pretty much done. I did the ceiling yesterday. You know, every time I do this, I don't know if sprayer or roller is better, but I would say for an hour, that was pretty fast to get all of that done. Um, this is really sucking up a ton of paint on this drywall, so I've actually gotta go get more paint and then we'll get back. Uh, I just got the big bucket. The big bucket. <laughs> Here are the things I noticed with the sprayer. Because the floors are not done yet, there is a lot of dust and debris, even despite my sweeping, that it's just kind of blowing more debris up than I like. I think I'm going to switch to a roller now to do the second coat. The sprayer let me get on the first coat really well. And I think we're gonna roll this to finish it. Again, my goal was to try to get as much done today in the four hours of preschool that I can, and we, uh, we got two hours left. Setting my timer here. Let's see which way is faster. Using a traditional paint roller is certainly a way that I have painted in the past. And I will say every time I do this, I immediately start to regret it. Painting is actually one of my least favorite things to do, but on this remodel, it was really the only thing I was capable of doing where I was letting the guys do all the plumbing work, electrical and tiling. So I wanted to get my hands a little bit dirty. The biggest pro of the roller is that you can control it a lot more in terms of overspray. It's not as messy. If you need to refill, you just pour out your paint rather than having to thin it down and calibrate your settings and make sure that your spray is correct. Now, I will say again, I was very achy at the end of this and again thinking like, why did I do this to myself? But this took me about an hour and a half to do the other side. So I will say it is longer, but again, I didn't spend all the time prepping the paint to put it into the sprayer, but the sprayer is definitely easier on your body. You know, why did I take on this myself? My husband was like, we can hire somebody, it's fine. But to me, again, I like putting my hands in it. I wanna go back into this room when it's done and go, wow, I had a big, you know, I played a part in it coming to life outside of just picking out the tile and hiring people, my, my sweat and my hands went in it. And also, like I saved us probably $1,500 by painting it myself, which that $1,500 could go towards something else. Or again, as now being the homemaker role, I take a lot of pride when I can save us some money because I might have not gone out and earned that $1,500, but I saved us from spending it and that's a win in my book.